Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel from Coralus, and today I have for you part two of the DIY reefing on a budget, building a tank from spare parts, whatever you want to call it. This is going to be a fun build. Um, I laid out the stand, and the hood is completely done already. So let me show you that. It's all used parts. It's from a pallet that we had. So this wood may have termites. I don't know. <laughs> but there you go. That's the stand in the hood. And this we will drill later on. Um, I'm going to do a custom overflow box. That's going to be really cool. Ghost overflow. So there will be no pipes in the tank. This is going to be the refugium. So that will be a standalone refugium. And then in the bottom is where I will have the equipment. So I have a filter sock there. I have a protein skimmer. I have a carbon reactor. And then there is a return pump. Now this is all subject to change. I just have it laid out because I'm still trying to give my plumbing, you know, some more thought. I, I really was thinking about since this is a two tank setup that I could even drill and go right through the floor instead of having to go out the back and then back down. Since the tanks are right on top of each other, I could do that no problem. Then I could just go right in the sock or however. But my other thing with that is if I have a sock after the refugium. Um, it may capture the copepods and things that I want to get back in the main tank and other things like that. So I may reverse the order, but I love just looking at that refugium there. Just the idea that that's going to be a display refugium is pretty cool. So, and I use the Chinese black box LEDs. I'm eventually going to um, open this up and take the knobs that are up top and just drill a hole and put the knobs in the front so I can then raise this up a little bit. So. But I'm just going to have Chato in there and maybe some cool little inverts or something else, eat some detritus. Um, so I, I do have the Uniseal instead of bulkheads. I'm just going to use those because I find them they work fast and they're, they don't leak and they're just really easy to use. So, and this skimmer is awesome. This was someone's that they ordered and they never picked it up. So that worked out really awesome for this unit. And the return pump here was a Jabo that someone bought and then didn't use. So I traded him some coral for it. And then this little filter sock in here. I'm just debating on using a filter sock with the big refugium up top. So I may not even use the filter sock um, because I can always siphon out the refugium. And the water flow is going to be pretty slow. And I'm like, uh, I can do two drain system, but it's just such a small setup. I really don't need to go overkill with it. So. And then I even have a nice little auto top off tank at the bottom. And I'm really excited just to have all this up and running because it's one complete system. It's going to have everything in here. It should be a very simple tank to keep clean. And like I said, all from used parts. There's another black box Chinese LED. And we'll design the rock work together. Um, like I said, there's, this isn't finalized for me. So anyone who has an idea or something that they want to suggest, um, like I said, the ghost overflow box will go up top. That'll be a black acrylic box with the plumbing drilled through the back of the glass. So there won't be a whole drain box there. But yeah, guys, feel free. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, thanks for watching. As always, happy reefing. Wait for the next one.